In a very significant development, India and France are close to conclude a deal for the joint development of a 125 kN engine for the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet program, that will see collaboration between India's DRDO and French engine manufacturer Safran. A defence official has said, that the external affairs minister discussed the deal with French defence minister Florence Parly during his visit to Paris last week and an agreement is expected to be signed in the next 30 days. The AMCA will have non-stealth and stealth configurations, that would be developed in two phases. The AMCA Mark I will initially be powered with General Electric F-414 engines, while the AMCA Mark II will be powered by this more powerful and advanced indigenous engine. Officials have said, that once the agreement is concluded with France, the development of the AMCA fighter jet as well as the engine will progress parallelly to meet the timelines, and this new engine will also be equipped on the Ted BF and Tejas Mark II fleet in later phases. Hindustan Aeronautics has offered the Tejas aircraft to Malaysia's light combat aircraft program, but without the Israeli origin radar and several other Israeli systems. India has offered the Tejas aircraft with the indigenous UTAM radar, and both the DRDO developed head-up display unit, as well as French company Thales developed head-up display unit and the Damocles targeting pod has also been offered, and Malaysia will choose the systems as per its requirements. Malaysia doesn't recognize Israel, nor it has any diplomatic relations with Israel, and Israeli visitors are also forbidden to visit Malaysia, due to which it has sought the platform without Israeli technologies in them. The Indian Army chief has said, that the Army is open to ideas for building ready and future combat vehicles that are at conceptualization stage. This statement is significant, as the DRDO has already pitched its case for key projects like the FICV, FRCV and light tank project. The DRDO is developing a future main battle tank for the FRCV project, and is also working jointly with Larsen and Tubro for a future infantry combat vehicle, while the DRDO Larsen and Tubro light tank has already started fabrication and will be unveiled in 2023. French firm Thales Group has said, that it will be present in full strength at the 12th edition of Defence Expo 2022, and will exhibit and offer state-of-the-art technologies across land, air, naval and space domain, to support the modernization needs of the Indian Armed Forces. It will display the laser beam riding Star Streak manpad system, the lightweight multi-role missiles, laser-guided rocket, F-90 MBR lightweight rifle, Captus 1 sonar system, acoustic shot detector sensor for the maritime environment, and the new generation son o boy known as Sony Flash. The RDO chairman has said, that the DRDO has allocated an outlay of 1,200 crore rupees to support academic research in defense. The RDO is working with at least 300 academic institutions, and some 1,200 scholars are associated in defense research. He also said, that Gujarat University has also signed a memorandum of understanding with the DRDO to set up a center of excellence, in which 500 research students will be working on defense-related core research. The Indian Navy has started the Milan 2022 multilateral exercise in Visag, in which warships and high-level delegations representing navies from 40 countries are taking part. A multi-dimensional operation and demonstration and fly-past was also conducted, and the focus of the multi-nation exercise is on surface-subsurface -surface air domain and weapon firings, and an international maritime seminar is also being conducted at the Eastern Naval Command, providing participating navies and their delegations an opportunity to express their views on maritime security.